Good afternoon, grade 9. I am your teacher, Janelda Blaza of Woodruff International School. For today's video, we will learn about the Korean War. In 1945, Korea was occupied by Soviet forces in the north and American forces in the south. The line that was chosen to separate the two was called 38th Parallel. This man is Kim Il-sung. He was a Soviet army captain and became known to be a heroic guerrilla commander. In early 1946, Soviet occupying forces chose him to head the provisional government for North Korea. Three weeks after the Southern Republic of Korea was made, Kim Il-sung was named Premier of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on September 9, 1948. Kim didn't want a Soviet satellite state and instead he embraced Korean nationalism. Over 2 million acres of land were redistributed under a man. Women were guaranteed equality under the law, and political action cells were formed to educate the population. In June of 1949, both of the Soviets and Americans left the peninsula. This is when Kim's plan to unite Korea became evident. On the brink of war, South Korea obviously appeared to be faltering, but President Syngman Rhee unleashed a brutal campaign against suspected communists and leftists. At first, Kim wanted to use force, however, he needed support and so he turned to Stalin for help. Stalin supported his invasion plan and advised him to get support from China's new communist leader, Mao Zedong. He did and was now on brink of war. We will be discussing four stages of the Korean War. The first one was the North Attacks. On 25 of June 1950, North Korean troops invaded South Korea. They crossed the 38th parallel and surrounded the capital Seoul. The South Korean army retreated to Busan. Question. Why did Stalin and Truman get involved in Korea? It is because Stalin believed that by supporting North Korea, they have an opportunity to confront the West and expand communism without endangering Soviet troops. And it is because Truman strongly believed that by supporting South Korea, they can prevent the spread of communism through Asia. South Korea will not the next domino to fall. The second stage was the United Nations forces attack. In September 1950, 300,000 UN troops landed at Incheon. 260,000 of them were American. They effectively cut Korea in two. The North Koreans retreated north of the 38th parallel rather than completely cut off. Over 125,000 North Korean prisoners were taken, and General MacArthur boosted the U.S. troops would be home by Christmas. Next question. Why did China enter the war? It is because the UN forces crossed the 38th parallel and invaded North Korea. General Mark Arthur planned to liberate North Korea from communism. He took the troops to the Yellow River. This was on the Chinese border. And Mao had already stated that 
he would not tolerate American imperialist troops on its borders. That is why. Stage 3 of the Korean War was the Chinese victories. On the 25th of November, 200,000 Chinese soldiers attacked the UN troops. They had modern Soviet weapons and a fanatical hatred of America. On 31 December, another 600,000 Chinese soldiers joined the conflict. They inflicted heavy casualties and drove the UN troops south of the 38th parallel. The last stage of the Korean War was back to the beginning. The Americans landed more troops and pushed the North Korean back across the border. President Truman abandoned any plans of invading North Korea. He ordered troops to stop advancing and considered making peace with China. MacArthur criticized this decision in a press conference and Truman fired him. The last stage led to a slow, agonizing march to peace. By April 1951, two sides had reached stalemate. 200,000 soldiers died in an unsuccessful push south during April and May. Peace talks began in July 1951, but no ceasefire was agreed. And between the beginning of peace talks in November 1952, over 45,000 U.S. troops were killed and wounded. There were armistices signed by North Korea, China, and the UN, but not by South Korea. The armistice was not a peace treaty, but just a temporary cessation of hostilities. How is Korea now? Korea still split up into North Korea, who are communists, and South Korea, who are non-communists. The border between two countries has remained one of the most heavily armed stretches of land on earth. And that ends our lesson about the Korean War. For questions and clarifications, just drop it in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Woodrow's International School Africa and don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you.